Since ClickApp finally opened up dashboards for mobile, there has been a lot of conversation going on on building client portal type dashboards in ClickUp. How to handle it, how to build them and what to do with them. That's what we're going to talk about today. Everybody. I'm Yvonne Hyman with AskEV.com and I am a business efficiency consultant for digital entrepreneurs. And if you're ready to streamline your business to skyrocket your sales, you are perfect right here on my YouTube channel. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Now today I want to talk dashboards with you. It has been the raving thing right now. Everybody wants to figure it out how to handle them. And I'm going to show you two ways how you can set up a dashboard in class. Now, before ClickUp made their dashboards available on mobile, one of my clients, actually my financial advisor, found a great way around the limitation. And this is number one, how you can set up client dashboards in ClickUp. Now, let's go over to my screen and I'll show you how they did it. In this case, what the profit gurus decided is they are using the different view tabs to build a client portal. You see right now what you see as a client in their setup. They invited me in as their client with my task for clients. So what that means is on the back end, this is set up as one single list and they only shared that list with me. I am pretty darn sure there is more lists in there, which is all internally handled, which is only available to the team. So in this case, me as a guest, me as the client has gotten invited with only guest access, which means it's free to you to this list. Now, when I come in here, I have the tab of tasks with a getting started template where they added videos that show me around how everything works and where I find things and how I use things. Cool. Perfect. You always want that. You always want to make it easy for your clientele to know how this thing actually works for them. You as knowing your way around ClickUp, you already can see they also set this automatic in me mode. So it's just for me. So that even if there's tasks happening in here that pertain to the team, this is only just for me. Then there is the file cabinet where there is a contact tab in there where I get all the phone numbers for my ladies if I need to get a hold of somebody. There's a happiness meter so I can give feedback, online account access to the upload files and all of that kind of stuff. There's a file cabinet. There's all kinds of additional information right in here easily accessible to me. Love it. They do use a live chat too and what this is as you can see if they're in the office and they're available for right now. There is a 911. I need something fixed right now. Something is not right. I need somebody right now. I can jump on this live chat and all this is it's an embed. It's a tool, third party tool that offers them live chat capabilities and it's just embedded in here. That's simple. And then the regular click up chat to be able to just say, hey, I need something additional. I need this. I need that. I need here. There you go. Now, this is one way to set up a client portal and make it really easy just using the view tabs on top. Now, another thing that you can use is dashboards, especially if you actually want to show some reporting and other things. Dashboards might actually be the better solution for you. And now that it's available on your phone, too, as well as your iPad or your Android tablet, this is a really strong solution and way to set this up too, because it finally is available everywhere. And I did the same thing where right on top, we have the tasks. Um, you've seen these tasks before. This is an embedded task list from my media space. So literally all you do is it's a task list that you choose. You choose what you want to group it by. I grouped it by the content stages. You've seen this before. The location is really just the marketing location. So you need to choose what exactly you want to pull in. I also have the task filter as assigned to me, meaning it only pulls the task in for me. In your client case, use the client. The client is going to be the assignee. So every time you assign the client to a task, it pulls it into this task list. You can embed your documents the same way you do it in a view. As you see the whole one down, it's the same kind of setup that Coral and the Profit Gurus used in their tab on 
top. Same thing. It's literally just the embed. Grab your URL. As you can see right here, it's a custom embed. We literally just grab the document URL right from inside ClickUp and it pulls it all in. It has the whole open close thingy going on. It's fully functional. And then the regular internal chat. Now, if you would want to have a live chat like the profit gurus have, you would just add another embed widget and plug your embed in there. That simple. And let me know in the comments, how are you using dashboards to make life with your clients easier? Or do you prefer just using the view tabs on top and going the route the profit goes went? Now, if you haven't subscribed yet and hit the bell, it's your turn because you're at the end of the video. Why haven't you done so yet? I want to hear from you. How are you building your client portal right here in ClickUp?